Well, we usually like to start with a date and time. It's now 8.30 on Monday the 11th of September. What I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to skip around and find some of the most interesting studies, primarily because we can't really launch into the 7200s early in the evening. So what I want to do is just go around and see if I can characterize the night sky to get a better sense. I've already got a hypothesis with well, some values that I use. How deep you can go at different parts of the sky. One of the factors that's going to be problematic tonight, however, is there are high thin clouds, so that always introduces a variable that you can't account for. But overhead looks pretty decent. So of course we're looking at M27 and I'm seeing we have a full extension of the football. I won't tell you what my settings are, but we're seeing all of it that we ordinarily ever get to see. However, I did boost, as you will see here, brightness 50, contrast 0, color 50. So I'm going to go for a little bit more color this evening. So let's begin our adventitious tour. Everything I hope to see tonight will be culminating to give us the best possible views. And I'll, I'll pick and choose among studies to find the ones that are most interesting. So let's set off on our little adventure. One hint as to the settings I'm using is it typically takes 30 to 40 seconds to compile an image on the screen. This is an image we've seen many times before. It also happens to be culminating, and I think I'm getting a few, pure six inches of aperture on it, so it's not being blocked by the roof try. It's NGC 6888. So there's our start. So what I'm going to do is start moving forward from 6888 and see what might turn up. Culminating alongside NGC 6888 is 6891, Planetary Nebula and Delphinus. Magnitude 10.5, 16 by, point, by 7 arc seconds in size, central star magnitude 12.3, 11,800 light years distant, and almost 13 degrees positive declination. Let's move on from here. Another planetary, but this one's in Cygnus, NGC 6894, magnitude 14.4, faintish, 44 by 39 arc seconds, central stars magnitude 18.3, 5400 light years distant, and it's at positive 30 and a half degrees. So we should be able to get a view of this one. I'm looking at it kind of askance, and yes, it is right there. NGC 6898 is a galaxy in Capricornus, magnitude 14, 1.2 by 0.7 arc minutes, 255 million light years distant, and minus 12 degrees. So we're probably losing something around two, I mean, about two and a half magnitudes. And I do believe I'm seeing the galaxy right there. So not bad, although there may be several other on the screen as well. Now this is what should be interesting. We're pretty much right on the celestial equator, maybe two and a half degrees south of it. NGC 6900, a galaxy in Aquila. It's magnitude 14, one by 0.8 arc minutes. Spiral with a small b. 230 million light years distant. And as I said, just about two and a half degrees below the celestial equator. And I am looking at the screen, and if I had to guess where it was, it would be right there. Needs to be verified, however. NGC 6901 is another galaxy in Aquila, magnitude 13.7, but more edgier, 1.1 by 0.4 arc minutes, so slightly oblate presentation, spiral with a bar, 216 million light years distant, and plus 6.5 degrees in declination. NGC 6903 is a galaxy in Capricornus. Minus 20 degrees, magnitude 11.9, 2.6 by 2.4 arc minutes, 
lenticular spiral with a bar, 148 million light years distant. I had to guess where it was. It's pretty much right next to that star there. So at 12th magnitude and minus 20 degrees, not doing too bad. And GC 6905, rather obvious planetary nebula in Delphinus, magnitude 1244 by 38 arc seconds. Central star is magnitude 14, it's 5700 light years distant, and plus 20 degrees in declination. GC 6906 is a galaxy in Aquila, magnitude 12.3, classic oblate, but 1.6 by 0.8 arc minutes spiral with a large bar and attributed with a lowercase bc, 219 million light years distant, six and a half degrees above the celestial equator. This one is intriguing. It's at minus 25 degrees in Capricornus, NGC 6907, galaxy, magnitude 11.2, largish, 3.4 by 2.6, so a football-shaped presentation. The galaxy is quite obvious on the screen. Spiral with a large bar, lowercase bc, 141 million light years distant, and it is minus 25 degrees in declination. I consider that a very nice view for that galaxy. I'm not sure what that other smudgy is nearby, however. This one would be a challenge. NGC 6912, Galaxy in Capricornus, magnitude 13.1, 1.4 by 1.1, arc minutes in size, football presentation, spiral with a large bar, 318 million light years distant, and minus 18 and a half degrees. I do believe it should be somewhere on the screen. However, I am not quite seeing it by itself. This one should be a bit of a challenge, although it's straight overhead. There could be some reflected light off the roof tries. Hopefully the dew shield will take care of that. As you see, 6914 Nebula and Cygnus, three by three arc minutes. <coughs> it's a reflection type nebula, which are usually fainter and they don't have any color to them. 5,000 light years distant, plus 42 and a half degrees declination. That's about as clear of the sky as we would possibly get, except for the roof drive presence. Maybe we will be able to figure out where this is on the screen. What we have here is a very intriguing study. Small, but nearly edge on, 0.9 by 0.2 arc minutes. It's NGC 6921, Galaxy and Volpecula, the Fox. It's in good sky composition, almost 26 degrees declination, spiral with a lowercase a. So we should be looking for a little slit of light fading off at the tips, somewhere on the screen. Have a look. Onward and upward. Okay, we're going to use our telescope to look at a microscope. NGC 6923 is a galaxy in microscopium. I'm hoping we can see this. It's minus almost 31 degrees, magnitude 11.9, 2.6 by 1.3 arc minutes. So a super, uh, uh, well, anyway, not sure how to describe it. Spiral with a large bar and a ring, 124 million light years distant. 30 and minus 30, almost 31 degrees in declination. And frankly, I do believe we're seeing it right there. I am impressed. Wow, very nice. And here we have another brightish galaxy in the same position on the screen in microscopium, NGC 6925, magnitude 11.3. Interesting, it's large. 4.4 by 1.1 arc minutes. 
which puts it at a, um, a sub-oblate kind of an angle, spiral with a lowercase bc, 130 million light years distance, almost minus 32 degrees, very present on the screen. I am, wow, plenty of extension, very, very nice. NGC 6927 is a galaxy in Delphinus, but it has magnitude 14.5 by 0.5 by 0.2, but that's not what we're looking at. So there should be, if I go to the next study, NGC 6927A, which is what I originally dialed in, is a magnitude 16.5, small, 0.3 by 0.1 arc minute size galaxy. It's an uh, elliptical 6, which means highly oblate, 193 million light years distant, plus 10 degrees. And if we can pick out a magnitude 16.5 galaxy, we pretty much will have locked down the current settings. And I'm not quite sure about the night sky, but so far we've had some good views to the south. And I am seeing some kind of galaxy right about there. That's not the, that could be the brighter 14th magnitude galaxy, 6927. They should be pretty close. Okay, just a couple of stepper clicks away was NGC 6928, another galaxy in Delphinus. Bright, magnitude 12.2, 2.1 by 0.6 arc minutes, a spiral with a large bar. So this should be an oblately presented galaxy, 213 million light years distant, plus 10 degrees should be obvious on the screen but not to me given where i'm sitting in the position of the scope at this time let's look for it manana what we're seeing here is a globular cluster in delphinus ngc 6934 magnitude 8.9 sub 7 arc minutes in size its brightest stars are 13.8 it's a class 8 which means the stars are fairly distributed widely however its issue is it's 50,000 light years away. It's at plus seven and a half degrees in declination. I would like to think we can resolve stars in the halo. We'll have a look at it later. We had a rather unspectacular view of this one last night. NGC 6960, as you recall, it is a supernova remnant, also known as the Western Veil Nebula in Cygnus. The total magnitude is 7, but it's 210 by 160 arc minutes in extent. 1,500 light years distant. The star went nova about 15 to 20,000 years ago. It's a nice sky position, almost 31 degrees north. We're now about uh, almost uh, three quarters of the way from 20 hour to 21 hour. I am hoping with the boost in the color value for screen display and perhaps an even better light night than last night, we're going to see more of the witch's room. Supernova remnant, but I can't tell anything about it from here. And you see 6969 in the year 6969. Galaxy Delphinus, magnitude 14. And the reason I selected this is because it's 1.1 by 0.3 uh, arc minutes, kind of tiny, but we want to see if we can actually make out the fact that this is a almost edge-on spiral. It's a spiral with a lowercase a, 212 million light years distant, almost eight degrees northern declination. So let's hope we can see actually some sense of an edgy on spiral on this screen. Okay, here we're seeing a smallish globular cluster, NGC 6981. Seems a lot fainter than, uh, this actually is Messier 72, which is a magnitude 9.2 globular cluster. I don't know how uh, Charles Messier ever turned this up. This has got to be the faintest one I've encountered yet. I thought the faintest ones were about 8.6, but this is 9.2. 5.9 arc minutes in size. 
brightest stars are of the 14.2 magnitude. It's a class 9, which means it's, the stars are fairly spread apart, 55,000 light years distant, and minus 12 and a half degrees in declination. Okay, here we're getting another galaxy glue. This one, uh, view. A galaxy in Aquarius, NGC 6985. Magnitude 14.5, 1.5 by 0.8. So an oblately presented galaxy spiral with lowercase a, 259 million light years distant at minus 11 degrees. So we're losing probably, this one's pushing the upper limit. So if we get a look at this, given its sky position. It does appear to be some faint fuzzies up there, several of them. Uh, we'll have to work it out on the manana by putting pointing arrows on the screen for previous studies. A bit of a challenge here, we have a magnitude 15 NGC 6988 galaxy in Delphinus. 0.7 by 0.7 arc minutes. It's just attributed to be a spiral 210 million light years distant, plus 10 and a half degrees. Sure would be like to be able to make this one out on the screen. I suspect we have. It's right about there. All we're seeing is the core, a fuzzy core. But that's good enough for me in terms of determining it's a galaxy, but it still has to be validated by its position on the screen. We've now arrived at the Eastern Veil, NGC 6992, Supernova Revenant in Cygnus, magnitude 7, 60 by 8 arc minutes. That's much brighter average surface brightness than its Western cor uh, correspondent. 1500 light years distant, plus almost 32 degrees in declination. We're now pushing up against hour 21. The scope is still going uh, probably about 10 degrees shy now of culmination. I am going to call this the um, Carpe Noctum view of the evening. However, I'm going to push through the uh, Gemini 2 controller a little bit. If I find something really spectacular, I shall make a tag to this video. Tag 1, NGC 7006, a really faint globular cluster in Delphinus. Magnitude 10.6, small, 2.8 arc minutes in size. Brightest stars, magnitude 15.6. It is a class 1, 133,000 light years distant, plus 16 degrees. This is a tremendously compact globular at a great distance, and it's suffering a lot of light loss due to the fact of intervening cold dark matter throughout our galaxy, which tends to uh, absorb some of the light between here, especially between here and 133,000 light years away. Frankly, this one probably lies well outside the bounds of our own galaxy, however. Let's see if we have a tag too. Tag two, maybe it. NGC 7013 is a galaxy in Cygnus. The reason I selected it is bright, magnitude 11.3. Large, 4.5 by 1.4 arc minutes. Has a nice oblate tilt to it. Spiral with a lowercase a. Only a mere 35 million light years distance, so rather dwarfish. Plus 30 degrees declination. And with that, I'm hoping we get a good look on the screen. And I will say, carpe. Doctor.